Buckle up Formula One fans because we've got a revelation from the legend himself. The seven-time world champion Lewis Hamilton recently dropped a truth bomb confessing to faking an illness to dodge testing at Mercedes. Can you believe it? Before you start scratching your head, wondering why, let's dive into this video today to know the story behind Hamilton's unexpected admission. Pre-season testing is the practice test where teams get a chance to test their cars before the first race of the year. It's a well-regulated event whose goal is to ensure all 10 teams and 20 drivers have equal time and conditions. During these days, testing starts at 10 in the morning and ends at 7.30 in the evening with a break for lunch. This gives a total of 25.5 hours for teams to run their cars on the track, but they can only use one car at a time. Teams make big changes to their car designs during the winter break, sometimes even building entirely new cars for the new season, so they need time to test these changes and make sure their cars work well before the first race. Somehow, this testing is crucial for drivers too. Even if they've practiced a lot on simulators, driving the new car for the first time is different. This is especially true for the three new full-time drivers, Logan Sargent, Oscar Piastri and Nick De Vries. Testing is a great chance for them to get used to the new car before the first race. Not only do teams work on their car designs, but they also deal with new rules for the season. This means adjusting their floor designs and improving the overall performance of their cars. During these three days, engineers collect data on the new cars and make sure they match what they found in wind tunnels and simulations. Mechanics also practice pit stops to ensure they're ready for the races. But surprisingly, the drivers don't like that. Drivers don't enjoy testing before and after the season. Sergio Perez even called it a pain in the eye. Many drivers have talked about not liking these tests because they can be quite tedious at the circuits. In Formula One, testing during the season is limited now to save money. Most of these tests are for the tyre company Pirelli. Teams also have something called filming days. These are limited to 200 kilometers, and the teams do this to create videos and photos for marketing. Even Lewis Hamilton doesn't like testing. He once shared that he pretended to be sick to avoid it. This came out in an end-of-season review on the team's YouTube channel. Hamilton, along with team principal Toto Wolff and reserve driver Mick Schumacher, talked about it at their headquarters in Brackley. Lewis Hamilton admits faking illness. Addressing George Russell's absence, Wolf explained that the King's Lynn native was unwell. He asserted, George is really ill, it's not a sickie that he's pulled. Dismissing any suspicions, Wolf promised that the 25-year-old wasn't feigning illness to skip the event. In response to Russell's situation, Hamilton shared insights into his reluctance towards testing. He revealed the extent to which he would go to avoid it, stating, I had been suspicious of Russell's absence before, and I admit I previously faked illness to avoid testing. This humorous admission showcased the lengths the 38-year-old seven-time champion was willing to go. The absence of specific details about Russell's health leaves room for speculation, as Wolf simply stated, George is really ill. Hearing this, Hamilton shared, I was curious about something. Upon learning that George Russell couldn't participate in the testing due to illness, Hamilton commented, In the past I have done that to miss the test days because I just generally don't like test days. So, yesterday when I heard that he was sick I was like, ah, he's one-upped me, he's gone to another level. This isn't Hamilton's first time skipping test duties due to illness. Back in 2015, Pascal Wehrlein had to step in for the seven-time world champion at the preseason test at Circuit de Catalunya. Hamilton didn't specify when he faked being sick, leading fans to speculate about the timing. In 2015, Mercedes had ruled Hamilton out with illness during a running day at the Circuit de Catalunya. The 38-year-old had also missed the 2020 Bahrain Grand Prix after testing positive for COVID-19, following the sport's rules that required isolation for a positive virus test. Looking ahead to 2024, Hamilton and Russell are optimistic about a better performance after Mercedes lagged behind Red Bull and Max Verstappen in the previous year. The Silver Arrows faced consistency issues in 2023, with neither Hamilton nor Russell posing a significant challenge to Verstappen. Russell aims to surpass Hamilton's performance in the upcoming season, setting a goal to outshine his teammate after a less-than-ideal second season with Mercedes, having previously raced with Williams. Pre-testing for 2024, 
As we gear up for the 2024 Formula One season, the anticipation is building for the pre-season testing scheduled from February 21-23, a week before the Bahrain Grand Prix. One name that will undoubtedly grace the track is that of Lewis Hamilton. The season driver, a key figure for Mercedes, is determined not to miss this crucial phase. In 2023, the Mercedes team faced a challenging season, going winless for the first time since 2011. Max Verstappen's dominance and a third consecutive world title for Red Bull left the Silver Arrows eager to bounce back. Hamilton, ever the competitor, is keen to be part of the resurgence, hoping to steer Mercedes back to the forefront of Formula One. Team principal Toto Wolff, reflecting on the disappointments of the past season, remains optimistic about the future. Speaking at an end-of-season Q&A session, he outlined the challenges ahead for Mercedes. It's to set the expectations right because we have a huge mountain to climb, Wolff acknowledged. There's a team that is so successful and we have a big gap to close. Despite the uphill battle, Wolf expressed confidence in the team's proactive steps to bridge the divide. However, he remains realistic, acknowledging that the true test lies in the upcoming testing sessions and the first race in Bahrain. I'm super excited. I'd like to start going now. It's the stopwatch that's going to tell us what job we've done, he admitted. Mercedes, having narrowly secured second place in the Constructors' Championship, faced challenges in adapting to the new regulations and the budget cap. Wolf highlighted the importance of learning from adversity, stating, The races and the seasons that are difficult are the ones where you learn the most. He emphasized that setbacks are opportunities for growth, confident that the lessons learned will propel Mercedes back into contention. Reflecting on technical challenges during the season, Wolf revealed insights into the car's performance. During the year, we realized that our car was not operating as stable as we had predicted. He attributed this to a potential deviation from the necessary development window, affecting the interaction between chassis and tires. Wolf further confirmed that these realizations were vital learnings for the team, paving the way for improvements in the upcoming season. Hamilton's belief in Mercedes, Mercedes and other top Formula One teams are gearing up for significant changes in the off-season, following Max Verstappen and Red Bull's incredibly dominant season. Lewis Hamilton, the seven-time champion, shared his belief in Mercedes during this crucial period. He said, it's always the most exciting time of the year because I have seen the car in the wind tunnel. I always go by the wind tunnel when I go to the factory and see it evolving in whichever direction it goes. Hamilton, speaking at the FIA's end-of-season prize-giving gala in Baku, expressed confidence in Mercedes' team, stating, But I have full faith in everyone that's working on it and I'm hopeful that we'll be in a much more competitive position next year. Acknowledging Red Bull's outstanding performance in the previous season, Hamilton congratulated them during the ceremony, emphasizing Max Verstappen's flawless driving. He continued, I have to say a big congratulations to Red Bull and Max and Checo. They've done an incredible job this year. Max was faultless. The team really raised the bar, and we have a lot of work to close that gap. Despite finishing third in the championship, Hamilton commended his team's unwavering commitment throughout the challenging year. And also said, but I truly do believe that we can close that gap. And a big thank you to my team because they never gave up this year. We started off with the sister of the previous year's car, which was not good and not fun to drive for most of the year, but no one gave up. Further, highlighting the team's resilience, Hamilton expressed inspiration in their dedication, adding, Everyone continued to show up every day, and that was what was most inspiring for me. I hope we come back next year and give it everything. So, what do you think of the Lewis Hamilton fake illness thing to avoid pre-testing? Comment below and subscribe for more.